so double check after the second hour. Um, we're asked to graph um, 5 uh, plus the square root of x plus 2. And um, we've got a bunch of, it's multiple choice and there's some graphs there. So it's really critical that when we graph this, um, that we graph it right. We're not sketching art. The curve has to go through very specific points. So I notice on the graph it goes from 8 to, so if I go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Nine, ten. It's so hard to draw down. All right. So first of all, hello. Can't take the square root of a negative number. So because I have a square root, there's probably a domain restriction. That means x plus two has to be a non-negative number. In other words, it has to be greater than or equal to zero. Well, how do I figure out what values I plug into that? Just solve for x. So x has to be greater than or equal to negative 2. Now, if you look on the test, I'm pretty sure I already know the answer. Uh, but anyways, let's go through the process of graphing this. So we can evaluate these things, and just for time's sake, just for time's sake alone, to evaluate these things is very simple. Just go in uh, to the y equals and then type in the equation, which was 5 plus the square root of, what was that, x plus 2? x plus 2. And then hit second table. And sure enough, notice that anything less than negative 2, you get an error. Why? Because you can't do math with a negative, you can't take the square root of a negative number. So now these values are the values that I'm going to use so I'm probably yeah I'm going to use these three values that have nice even integers Actually, there's four values. So I'm going to do negative 2. I'm going to move the screen over here. Um, I'm going to do, based on my table of values, when x, ugh, when x equals a negative 2, this is right from the calculator, y equals 5. When x equals negative 1, y equals 6. When x equals positive 2, y equals 7. And then lastly, when x equals 7, y equals 8. And then I look through those to see if there are any other ones that will fit on the graph. Not really. So then I just plot those points. I'm going to go to negative, oops, I'm going to go to negative 2. So I go over 1, 2, and then up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's the point negative 2 comma 5. Then at negative 1 it goes up 1 to 6. Uh, then at 2 it goes up 7, 1, 2, and then I go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Then at 7, 1, so this right here is 2 comma 7 and then 7 comma 8 so I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 
up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then I just draw my curve. And I label those four points. Three or four points would be helpful. And draw my curve through those points. And extend the curve in this direction. Now this is where some people make mistakes. If you look at my actual graph on the calculator, which I'm going to throw up here on, in a second here. When I throw up the graph on the calculator, and I'll, I'm going to copy it, I'm copying and pasting it right now. I mean, it's not that hard. You see that it stops on my calculator. Okay. Plus, we'll have multiple choice on the test for those. So it's the graph that looks like that. Okay, any questions?